talk to you about your painting to watercolor project. Um, so in this assignment, you're going to research on YouTube and find three step-by-step -step video tutorials to learn new techniques. And you're going to keep these on smaller um, four by six cards uh, when you do this. Um, so it's kind of like when you, you had watercolor, when we did a watercolor project in painting one, um, where we did the bookmarks. And then I also had you kind of research and find new ideas. Um, it's just, I'm realizing more and more how how vast you know YouTube is or video um, tutorials on are and how much easier it is for you to kind of individualize what you're interested in. So instead of us all drawing trees, um, you know, kind of thing of which we kind of did, um, you can start finding things that you actually really like. And, and what you find interesting, I might not. And what I find interesting, you might not. That's why I want you to take a little more hand, you know, in actually finding, you know, things you want to learn about. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of the warm up. Um, is being a, is finding those free, do these smaller cards, um, and that will count as your as your way of practicing getting ready for for this project. Um, then it says create either an original watercolor um, or something again you can copy online or if you even want to take that four by six and you really enjoyed it and you want to enlarge that um, to our I think it's like eleven by sixteen I have it written somewhere else here. Um, sorry. Um, you can you can almost do the same thing over again and sometimes if you practice the same technique you know obviously you get better at it or you can kind of go to something completely different or you can kind of come up with you know you might have a photograph from a vacation you might have taken you know maybe you're like over at door county and, and you really like the landscape you want to see if you can paint that um that is something also that you can that you can do um so video demonstrations you know what you could do is you can type in youtube you know watercolor step by step um Here's the size. Um, so it's 11 by 18. Basic directions. You know, find your color chart from last year. So remember, I have that, or you might have kept it. So ask me for it. We can see if we can find it. And sometimes they get misplaced and and whatever. So I can give you somebody else's just so you don't have to redo that. Um, and even just so, and also you have a reference on what those colors look like. Okay. Um, you know, you find the three tutorials you like. You do them. <clears throat> this time you're actually going to be stretching watercolor over wood. Um, and I'll have a video tutorial on that so you know how to do that. But it's 11 by 18 frame, um, and we will, um, and, and that, you, that you will make. And then you take your watercolor paper, your, a large sheet that I will give you. You soak it in water for about a minute. You dry it, um, and then you stretch over top of it, um, and you staple it. And what's really cool about drawing on stretch watercolor paper is it doesn't wrinkle. Um, and it's, it's my favorite way. Um, of, of painting with watercolors um, because it's like, it's like you're painting on this drum um, and it's just so much so much nicer. Um, uh, and then I'm just kind of reading through this, you know, then it says here, um, you know, you begin the three tutorials. So I do want you to try to make this frame up, you know, early so we don't have everybody kind of gathering around um, in one shot trying to make this frame up. No, put your um, images um, that you did on the, the, the samples you did, put that on Artsonia. Um, and also, again, like anything else, come up with your three ideas that you want to do and then post them so I can um, approve, you know, whatever um, you are doing for your project. You know, in terms of grading, watercolor techniques are well executed. So 15 points or 30% of your grade. Um, you know, great craftsmanship, good contrast. You have those light areas and dark areas. You know, your image is crisp. It's not just kind of this... this this mess <laughs> you might have on that. Um, and then your stretch paper is well constructed. You know, like you didn't rip the paper. Um, it doesn't have this weird wrinkle in a corner or anything like that, but you actually did a good job. So um, other than that, it's kind of about it. Um, so, um, you know, find those tutorials, find out what you want to learn, figure out, uh, you know, three different ideas and what you'd like to do for your project. Get that posted so we can figure things out and we will go from there. Thank you very much.